Hey yo there ladies and gentlemen, it's Valen, and welcome back to Pokemon Fire Red. Last episode, we not only took down Giovanni and stopped his corporate takeover from Silphco, but also we dethroned, not dethroned, but defeated Sabrina and claimed the Marsh Badge as our own. Now this episode seems very familiar. We are finally back home after being gone for such a long time. Let's see what mom has to say. Hi mom, I'm back. I'm almost a Pokemon master. Phelan, you should take a quick rest. Oh, that's mom, always worried about us. Oh good, you and your Pokemon look great. Take care now. What's she watching on TV today? There's a movie on TV. Four boys are walking on railroad. Tracks. I better go too. She's always watching that movie. It must be her favorite one. She was watching it when she's gone. When we were gone. And now she watches it as we come back. So, I only have two things to conclude. Either she really likes that movie. Or we have become almost a Pokemon Master. Got most badges before the end of that one movie. Which started at the beginning of our journey. Anyways... Enough rabble rousing. We have to go to our next destination. And I've decided that if this takes too long and there's too many encounters, I will just go ahead and skip it all. But from what it looks like here, we're just going to make our way straight through. Oh, no. I caught my Pokemon at sea. You ruined it. It seemed like we were just going to have a nice peaceful ride through. Uh, oh well. Can't have everything, I guess. Giga Drain. Ooh, Confuse Ray. Stop being mean to my Pokemon. They should not be confused. They know who they are. And apparently Vile Plume wants to hit itself. Way to go, Vile Plume! You do you! Giga Drain. Come on, one shot. One shot it! I believe in you! Oh. Well, it's a psychic, so it's got high special defense. Actually, the Starmie has good have good defense all around. As well as good offense. Because I mean technically it looks like it's a hard it's a hard shell, so I would assume it has good physical defense. Psychic, good special defense. And I've heard Starmie's a good special sweeper, so it's got high special and speed. Of course, I could just be being silly, which, let's face it, y'all may have watched me long enough now, and, uh, you know, I'm quite notorious for being silly and just spouting out words when I don't know what to say. <laughs> Alright, come on, Vapu. Just, that was a good transition. Good transition. Yeah, good one. Four times. Sweet. And number 39. Swimmer Jack. Diver down! Diver down! Well, stop diving down then. Ah, uh, feel the sun and the wind. No. Make me. And seems like another good target to Giga Drain. Bloop, bloop. Back up the top. Nice little snack. See, Valpoon doesn't even need fresh water, he just gets natural essence from the land. Whoa! Um. Sure, Jolteon. Just shock the entire water. Which, it's actually what would happen with Shockwave. It would just electrocute everything. G roll. And down. Seedra? 
Let's keep him in there. He wants to play a little bit longer. And Lapras was also a good pickup. Not only because, besides Snorlax, we didn't have anyone to surf, but he would be very good for Bla Blam. Blaze. Blah. I can't say it. My words got all jumbled. Hey, good stats. Roland. Yo, I lost. Yeah, you did. Oh, I hit another one. Right now, I'm in a triathlon meet. But, no, you're not. You're just floating out in the water. You're not in a triathlon meet. You're just floating out in the water. <sighs> okay, well, we'll take his word for it. He seems like a good kid. Seems like a good egg. Oh, I just need one more, Bioplume. I just need one more. We do need to look, look into uh, getting him maybe one more move to replace Bullet Seed. Let's see. War Turtle. Sounds like a good Pokemon to drain it of its essence. Essence. Drain it of its essence. Pronunciate, Valen. Come on. Say it with me, everyone. Pronunciate Valen. But hey, there we go. Just like that. War Tortles down. One of my favorite Squirtle forms. Actually, all Squirtle forms look good. Pain, pain. Speaking of uh, starter forms, um, Poplio's form? Uh, form? Actually looks really cute. It's kind of got that, uh, Greninja effect. Where it just looks like a lame little froggy. Although, froggies are cute. And, well, it becomes something awesome. And now, we are at Cinnabar Island. Let's greet it by healing ourselves up. Please don't tell me to. We hope to see you again. Full health. We hope to see you again. You're all horrible, horrible nurses. And now, let's complete our true goal: to revive the savior, to bring back what was once thought lost forever. All right. Sorry for that cut, people. I had a lot of noise in the background, which would have interfered with this very glorious moment. Hiya! I'm a Pokemon. I'm an important doctor. Why did I say Pokemon? I am an important doctor. Yes, very much so. Indeed. Here, I study rare Pokemon fossils all the time. I study. You have? You, you have a fossil for me? Our Lord and Savior. Oh, that's a Helix it is. It's our Savior. It is a fossil of Omnite, a Pokemon that already exists, extinct. My resurrection machine will make that Pokemon live again! Yes. So, you hurry and give me that! And an over the Helix box to the weird doctor. I take a little time. You go for walk for a little while. Alright, well, for a little while, you know what it takes a little while to do? Clear out an abandoned building. Alright. Ever onwards, as I say. Um, I do not know if Bioplume would be the best lead here. Let's pull Primate up front. It's been a while since she's got some time to shine. Alright, let's... Also, because I just know it's mostly rats here and such. Except for the very bottom. Very bottom. There. I know there's dittos. So, wait, did I pass the repels? Yes, I did. Alright, and with that, we go onwards. Hey, Pokeball! Found an escape rope! Oh, both of these are closed up. Wow, really? Okay.
This may take a while. Maybe I should get gotten super repels. Super repels. Why can I not speak properly today? A secret switch. Press it. Who wouldn't? I don't know. People that don't want to get in trouble. I love how its eyes glow. Wah! You startled me. I thought you were a ghost. No, that's in Lavender Town. This is a burnt building. This is where you meet, like, rats and such. Munching on wood, I guess. Primate. Oh. Ekans intimidated you. It's alright, Primate. You're not what you used to be, sadly. Fight. Not very effective. Come on. Keep strengthening it. Just throw it by its tail. Again. Again. Ah, uh, another intimidate. Come on. So annoying. It's all right. She'll too. Sh she will steal two shot him. Good lord. My pronunciation is horrible today. Sounds like I'm just melding my words together into one big word. That makes no sense. It just sounds like jumbled noises. Which I notice I do sometimes. And, uh, I'm sorry for that. If you've had to hear it. Oh, come on. Just one more. Just need one more. Oh, well. Just a pursuit. Low kit. Trip it off its feet. A critical. It was a fat rat. Fat rat. No, it's a dead rat. I can't get any wins. Well, yeah, you are starting off on a really hard island, but at uh, age younger than me, you already had better Pokemon. Keep at it, Sprout. I believe in you. What's your story? I can't get out! This old place is one big puzzle! No, it's not! Just go down the stairs and follow the carpet. It's not that hard. And this guy pees me because he is a burglar with a Charmander. And as a Charmander lover, that disgraces our unity, our faction. Charmeleon. Quick break. Boom. And good job. Thirty-nine. Sweet. Oh no, my bag of loot. I'll take that. Wow, you almost had three K. Repel effect wore off. Let's do it again. Use repel. Um. Ooh, there's this. Zinc. I appreciate zinc. Diary, July 10th. We cr we christened the new dis newly discovered Pokemon Mew. We christened. Why couldn't I pronounce that right at first? Probably because I'm a big old dummy. That's why. Oh, just like I ran into the wall. Repel. Again. Diary. July 5th. Guyana. I'm sorry if I pronounced that wrong. I know I'm going to. Guyana, South America. A new Pokemon was discovered deep in the jungle. So, did they just confirm that Pokemon is in our world? Calcium, sweet. But did they just do that? Did they just confirm Pokemon's in our world? One moment. Sorry, background noise again. Um, let's hit that switch. Turn off the glowy eyes of you two. Press it. Who wouldn't? Aw, the glowy eyes stopped. Eh. 
And nothing here. Upwards. And then I think you just always press the switches once. It's not that hard. Ooh, but I do want to know what's over there now. Pokeball! Iron! Always appreciated. Grass it. Yep. Repels effect wore off. We can't have that. My mentor once lived here. Okay. What's that supposed to mean to me? Magnemite. Brick break. Yeah, good job. Let's see if I can hopefully remember which hole to drop down into. I'm not going to risk cross chop. As, mu as cool as it would be, I'm pretty sure Brick Break will take it down. Yep. I'm not going to risk, uh, risk cross chop for something I know that can get beaten. Scientist Brent sent down Voltorb. Brick break again. Hopefully a one shot. Yep. Cool deal. And just like that, he's down. Whew! Overwhelming! Thank you. I'll take that as a compliment. Um, did, I think this leads. Well, of course it leads down. But it leads to this. HP up! Good lord, this place is just filled with, like, vitamins and everything. Alright, hopefully I can remember which one it is. Nope, wrong. Just the wrongest of the wrong. I'll meet you back up top. Can we get around you? Well, we probably could if we went a little further. Who are you? There shouldn't be anyone here. And what's your deal? Deal. Electrode. Um hopefully Brick Break can kill it. Yes, it can. Sweet. Since Cross Shop has been missing me so much missing on me so much, it doesn't feel comfortable a lot of times to use it. Oh Leprous! Let's get you in there. Go, Lapras! Surf! Sludge! Uh, body slam! Boom! And that's it for Weezing. Bye, Weezing! Ouch! It didn't even hurt you! Well, maybe the Surf did, but... You know, that can't be... I can't be held accountable for that. If you stood in the way, you stood in the way. Alright, and that way leads out. Carbos! Which makes no sense. That leads out the front door, but yet, you enter into the front door, you only come in through the front way. Whatever, though. What's your deal? Uh-oh! Where am I now? Well, go outside and ask that scientist dude. Look at you. Budget looter. Once again, with a very proud Pokemon, a Growl. <sighs> Makes me sad. Makes me sad. Brick Brink. Oh, It almost one-shot it. Almost. Alright. Let's strength it. I feel bad because the dog and I love Growlithe and this is abuse. Just end it quickly. There we go. Level 40. Ponyta. That sounds like a good Pokemon to crush chop. And miss, of course. Because why not? 
Well, now that it voluntarily chunked down a bit of its health, we can brick break it. Ponyta is another Pokemon I've always... Well, apparently it doesn't want to be defeated that easily. Anyways, it was another Pokemon that I've always liked, but because of the fact of Char Charmander and Growlithe, I've never really had a chance to uh, spread out and try it. Also, it didn't help that Fire was special, and in this, well, in this version, before the physical special split, and uh, yeah, Rapidash was more physical, more physical sweeper. Diary, September 1st. Mewtwo is far too powerful. We have failed to curb its vicious tendencies. They don't really tell too much about what happened. Just that whatever happened is in the US. Well, I mean not in the US, but in our world. Sorry for me for being ignorant. Um, South America. Let's see, bag. And that they create Pokemon. So was this... Is this our world in the future? So there should be a lot more technology. Also a Pokemon War Hub. Whoa! That's screen transition. This place is ideal for a lab. Look at all this space! Yeah, but swarmed with Pokemon. Just, well, we haven't seen because we've had a repel on. But you get my point. Go, Primate! Brick break. And another one down. It's almost as if these guys should just be like, hey, there's a guy just mopping through us with just a single Primate. And I swear I've seen uh, five other Pokeballs at his side. Just, just let him by. We don't want to be stuck in an old mansion with a bunch of feral Pokemon without Pokemon of our own. But apparently they do, so... What was that for? You... Dummy, you battled me! You came to me and summoned out your Pokemon. Um... this door open? Yes. Blizzard! I would teach at the Lapras if it did not have a miss rate, because we already see how we're doing with a cross chop. And it's not too well. A secret switch. Press it. Who wouldn't? Right? Am I right? Yeah, I'm right. Hi, Pokeball on the counter. Secret key. Sweet. And... 22 Solar Beam. Ooh. We could teach... No. The PPs are too low. Anyways, I will decide that. But as for now, it's time to get out of here. Failing, use the escape rope. Whee! And now, repel effect wore off. It's all right. We don't need it now. And now we go pick up the essence of our team, the mascot. The savior. You late! Where were you? Your fossil is back to life. It was Omnite, like I think. Do you want to get on nine eight? No. It was placed in box one. And with that, with us finding the secret key and the savior return. I think it's a good place to end today's episode. Next time, we will be going ever forward and claiming our next badge. We'll go and be making a bit of a dummy of ourselves on that, but this time it's intentional instead of accidental, and sometimes that's the best way to do it. Anyways, I hope you have a great day and a wonderful evening. This has been Valen. See ya!